Yo, Monique here with another video for you. I hope you had a lovely day so far. I had a really interesting day. I manifested a meeting with someone that I know from way back in Amsterdam. And we actually never really spoke to each other. He's in the music scene, he's a DJ, and he used to play um, in different places where I always uh, hung out and even worked. And we never ever spoken to each other. So many years later, I meet him in Berlin and he had some answers to questions of mine. And um, it was really cool how it works. I have questions like about something new is emerging. And I thought, okay, I don't know when the answers will come. I meet him at this party out of the blue, how the universe arranges everything. And he had the answers for me. So that's how life works. Ask and it is given, which is actually a book by Abraham Hicks. So this video is, as the title suggests, about how others have a say in your reality. And it's kind of like um, a trick to get you here because otherwise you might not have clicked this. Others don't have a say in your reality ever, never, ever, ever. Linda Merendal, who's a scholar from, uh, of the Seth material, and I talk about Seth more often, she even says, and this is based on the Seth material, no one can send you a letter, write you an email, send you a text message, talk to you, if you haven't given them permission to. So in other words, you create everything every form of communication there is between you and other people. There are multiple versions of them. That's the, that's the everyone is you pushed out. And you see the version of this person that you choose to see on an unconscious, subconscious, um, I don't know how many other words we have for it, uh, superconscious. I don't know if that's a word even. It is a word, but... Not in this context. So, um, on that level. And how you create this communication, like how you create the form, the, the tone of, uh, of the communication, is by your thoughts. And your thoughts are directed by your feelings. So, first you have an emotion. Then from that emotion springs a thought. And from that thought, you create. So how then do you create the things that you want to see? It's not enough to just repeat certain things with just the words. If you feel something different, if you say A, but you feel B, you will get the reaction to what you feel. Feelings trump words. That's just how it works. There's no way of, of moving around it. Abraham Hicks says super often in her videos, the universe knows, well, she doesn't use this word actually, but the universe knows when you're bullshitting, so, or your higher self, or if you say to a person, I so love how you, na 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 na, but you actually feel like, I think you're such a beep. Then what will come across? Not your words. Your feelings will come across. Just as you know that someone is bullshitting you when you're asking for something and they say, well, no, because na na na, and, and you feel like it's, well, I hear what you say, but I feel something different. What do you trust? You trust your feelings. Now it gets a bit more complicated because everyone is you pushed out, but let's not go there. Let's just stick with this. So know that you create the whole interaction 
the whole reaction, the whole everything. You're the director, you're the screenwriter, you're the actor, and everyone that is in your life is following your instructions subconsciously. And I know that sometimes it's hard to see because you're like, but this is really not what I want them to do. But it's not about what you want, it's about what you emanate. You don't get what you want, you get what you are. So it's, you can see that it's really important to get to know yourself super well and also to keep your emotions balanced. Because if you don't get your emotions under control, you create haphazardly and you also create things that you really do not like to create. And there is nothing wrong with a miscreation here or there, because that's also part of life and we grow from that and we create better feeling things if we create a lot of shitty things i'm like oh, this is not what i want okay i'm going to focus on that so you know this is all fine when there are a, li uh, a, a couple of miscreations but it's not so nice when you're falling from one miscreation in the other and you're like what the what is going on i haven't signed up for this the thing is you have signed up for it and that's why it's really good to get to know yourself as well as you can I'll get back to that in a bit. Uh, there's something else that I wanted to say. Um, yeah, so everyone does what you tell them to do in one way or, or the other. Uh, so from either a state that you're in, from the thoughts that you have been emanating. And it's also, I told that in the video that I made yesterday, it's also really important to know that you can change instantly. Every thought is an action. So when you have been creating things and you know you have been creating things from a low state, when you make sure, when you get your vibe up again and then you start affirming new thoughts that fit your current emotional state, you will cause a new creation and you will actually stop the miscreation that you have been making. So it's important to constantly realize that your point of power is now and you can always create something different. If you have been miscreating or um, because before you create, there's always like a thought and emotion creates, but there's always a delay. And you can, in that delay, think better feeling thoughts, have better emotions, and then create something completely different. Because from moment to moment, you choose a different parallel reality. And it's really interesting and crazy to get your head around it, but just, as, or not assume, just um, accept that it is the way it is because that makes everything a lot more easy. So your point of power is now and you create from your emotions because an emotion be uh, comes before a thought. Now, okay, so it's important that you know yourself and it's also important that you get your emotions in check because from good emotions come good thoughts and from good thoughts and emotions come really wonderful manifestations. Um, I think I'm, yeah, it's just the way it is. I'm going to keep repeating myself and it doesn't really matter because, um, it's better that you hear it 500,000 times than five. The thing is repetition helps us learn. And when you hear something multiple times at one point, it just clicks, it sinks in and it becomes this groove in your brains that is the positive path that you will follow instead of this other path that you have walked so many times that has become this ditch which you fall into every time. So repetition will help you in all cases. So I'm gonna say it again. How do you get your emotions and everything in check and balanced? 
eat good, sleep good, exercise, dance, be with friends, do all the things that make you feel good, always choose joy, always, 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 always. Um, yeah, this is it for now. There's something else that I want to share with you and I do that in a different video. I have faith this helps you and I see you soon. Mwah.